Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Yuan. I'm from China and currently I'm studying art history and business in Berlin now. I'd like to visit galleries and exhibitions in my leisure time and I'd also like to bring my passion about it into this channel. So it's gonna be about some gallery tours on a quite personal and uh, random way. So if you guys are interested in this kind of content, give this video a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Today we are going to visit a dance gallery area in Berlin, the Potsdamer Street aka Potsdamer Straße. The street is located in the west part of Berlin and there are many fancy places here. Our first station of today is the Blade Thousand, a gallery based in London and Berlin. The ongoing exhibition is called Shadow of Course. It's a solo one from the Kosovo artist Sislik Sefa. His work is a mixture of political and social discourses. At this corner we've got an olive tree with a tag on it. Two concave mirrors on the floor. Some other household objects. On the left wall is a series called Raw Breeze. It's one of my favorites in this exhibition, which consists of three pieces, blank painted canvas. All of them are from the same size, with a thin polishing film on it. It looks quite harmless from the first sight, but if we step nearer, we can see that there is some barbed wire behind it. I think it's quite fascinating to see like the contrast between the soft, almost delicate surface and the raw, brutal infrastructure underneath. And this huge plastic bag here. This seems so familiar to me because in China, you basically see this every winter before the spring festival where people are just streaming across the land to get back to their hometown. It's a very symbol of human migration and this kind of movements on the earth. And there's a pretty fragile chandelier in it, almost too fancy, like kind of too ideal for this situation. It's really interesting. Now we are on the second floor. Here's a miniature of the robbery series again. Oh, this is a really nice location. I've got some office area on the right side and you guys can have a nice look on the whole space. I love it, really love this industrial vibes over here. A huge skeleton of an umbrella, some garbage bags with hairs hanging over it. Oh my god, oh my god, look at those cactus. So cute. I know it's I know it's not supposed to be cute, but I just can't help, they're so cute. I love how they kind of sitting there in this mattress.
So that's basically everything here. The exhibition ends here, it says. And ah, this is the title piece of the exhibition. The three lighters. I really like it. I like this space. I like the interior of it. It's so minimal. And now we're about to leave Blaine Thousand and head into the next gallery. It's called Esther Shipper. This one is also super duper low key. Like, you can't really see it from outside. But actually, it is located directly above Blaine Thousand on the third floor of this building. So, this is Esther Shipper. This is how it looks like. It's nice and bright. And here are some introduction and postcards about the ongoing exhibitions. One of them is from a British artist called Anne Veronica Jensen's, and the other one is from Vipka Sim, a German artist. The exhibition is called Ich rede zu dir wie Kinder reden in der Nacht. In English, it might be, I talk to you as children talk in the night. The people refers to it as a indoor installation. Here are some security ones. And yeah, I'm about to get into it. Guys, this one is crazy. I can't see shit. Oh my god. Like the whole room is filled with mist. I can literally smell the moisture here. And the lightning is changing too. Oh my god. <laughs> There are my feet. The floor is super slippery. Oh my god, I'm kind of lost. I I guess I have to get out of here now. <laughs> it's cute though, I mean it's quite genius actually. Like this mist installation. It does deliver some feelings which might be similar to childhood perceptions about the world. Yeah, it's kind of primitive, but it's cool. I'm just worrying about dropping my camera on the floor. I have to go. Oh my god. So on the other side we have the exhibition called Diamond Sculpture at Men's Lady Sculpture. Wow. It's a quite museum like environment. Like some textile sculptures, textile works are presented here as well as drawings. They look like some fashionable baby dolls but also with the quotation from mountain sculpture. And yeah, the drawings are parallel to the sculptures, I guess. Like for each sculpture, we could find a drawing on the wall, but not vice versa. It's quite playful. It gets like kind of this stuff hang over like a scarf on a body. And it's RC too. Okay, cute. 
And yeah, after the two visits, I have to go back to uni, and I'm about to end the tour here. So today we visited the Blaine Thousand and the Esther Shipper. The first one is huge and representative. The second one kind of smaller, but also a big fun to visit. I think both of them are very nice galleries, and definitely will go back when they launch new exhibitions. Tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye!